readings. Let's talk about leukotrienes for a second. So remember the arachidonic acid pathway. So again, this these set of drugs, so glucocorticoids, NSAIDs, uh, the prostaglandin set of drugs, and the leukotrienes all come from that arachidonic acid pathway. And so again, with arachidonic acid, and actually um, 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 with leukocorticoids, we can we can prevent it from happening. But again, with arachidonic acid, it can go into the COX pathway or the LOX pathway, which is a lipooxygenase pathway. So I think we've covered the COX pathway. We've talked about prostaglandins, and then we've talked about how we can prevent arachidonic acid from coming to pass uh, with glucocorticoids. But when we, let's talk in this video about lipooxygenase and what it does to arachidonic acid. It helps convert it to chemicals that then act on leukotrienes receptors. And once they do, the big effect of airway hyperresponsiveness. So again, that's the pathway is arachidonic acid, LOX, it converts it to certain chemicals that stimulate the leukotrienes receptors in the lungs, which cause bronchoconstriction. Again, I am on purpose keeping this very simple because uh, we can get very easily lost into receptors. Um, if you remember some basic stuff, um, you can. it's easy to now um, add on the receptor knowledge to it and then build on that knowledge. Okay, so that's why I'm keeping this simple um, to, to, to what is pertinent for us to use on a clinical level, okay? Uh, and in the test and, and get a concept more than the exact receptor. So again, what are the two types of drugs? So the first drug is the one that prevents lipooxygenase from creating the chemical that then stimulates the receptor. So that's xyluton. Okay. So that's one kind of leukotriene inhibiting drug because it inhibits the production of the chemicals that stimulate leukotriene receptors. The other one is a drug that, again, prevents the chemical, once it's produced, to stimulate the leukotriene receptor. So that's the LUC drug, leukotriene in receptor inhibitor, LUK drug, so there's Monte Lu cast, L-U-K, leukotriene, okay, or Zafir Lu Ast, okay, leukotriene receptor inhibitor, Lucast. Okay. Monte Lucast is the prototype. So Xaluton works differently from Monte Lucast and Zafir Lucast. Zaluton actually prevents lipooxygenase from creating these chemicals. And Monte Lucast and Zephyr Lucast say, you know what, the chemical is produced, but I'm gonna prevent these receptors from getting stimulated by this chemical. So there's a very slight difference there. So that's why if you see the name of these drugs, they're a little bit different because even within the leukotriene drug category, there's, there's actually two subcategories. That's category number one, and these two belong to category number two. You guys with me on this? Essentially, both do the same thing, which is prevent airway hyperresponsiveness. So makes it easier for a person to breathe, helps them with their symptom. That's the mechanism of action. What is these drugs used for asthma, airway hyperresponsiveness diseases, where there's bronchoconstriction? Okay, is it working? Airway assessment. I don't hear wheezing anymore. Okay, asthma assessment. The peak expiratory flow meter is much better. Uh, patient doesn't have acute attacks anymore. So that would give me an idea of how the asthma is doing. Okay, side effects. So the big side effects with this drug or these drugs, these three drugs, are number one, hepatotoxicity. So it's bad for the liver. So again, we obtain a baseline liver lab. And so that way we know how the liver is doing. And then we monitor for abdominal pain, right upper quadrant pain, and other symptoms of liver issues. And or we make the provider may choose to consider ordering more labs at a later point in time. 
and then if we see the levels have gone very very high compared to the baseline now we've got a problem okay now it's actually influencing the liver so again for this we contact the provider and then there's a drug drug interaction as well so let's say these asthma patients sometimes take other drugs such as theophylline this drug inhibits the metabolism of theophylline and so it increases the level of theophylline in their blood so again, we've got to be careful if their patient is taking theophylline and is on the leukotrienes to order uh, regular theophylline levels and also monitor for the side effects of theophylline. And if the patient starts to exhibit these, uh, then they would have theophylline toxicity and we've got to do something about it. Um, but, he, but we'll talk more about theophylline in, in, in uh, you know, when we talk about respiratory drugs. And, and so review that one if you want to look at symptoms of theophylline toxicity. So again, I'll just do a quick recap. So leukotrienes um, with A and P, uh, these drugs, there's two categories, subcategories of drugs. There's drugs that prevent lipooxygenase from making a chemical from the arachidonic acid. So that's xaloton. And then the other category is the Leucast, Leuc leukotriene receptor antagonist drugs, Montelukast or Zafirlukast. Montelukast is the prototype. This is where the chemical is there. It just prevents that chemical from stimulating leukotriene receptors. Both drugs do the same thing. Essentially, once the leukotriene receptors are stimulated, the airways become very hyper-responsive and you have bronchoconstriction. We don't want that. So with these drugs, we prevent... Uh, the receptors from getting stimulated and the airways dilate and so in, dr in diseases like asthma this is very helpful um, so again we can assess by assessing the airway and their asthma and how that's doing and then for side effects hepatotoxicity and drug drug interactions are a big one the other thing just real quick note um, these drugs are not used as rescue medications for let me write that down. Not used for rescue when they are in acute asthma attack. So in other words, when they're having acute asthma attack, this is not used. What we use is beta-2 agonists or albuterol at that time to uh, open up their airways because that's for of an emergency and that's the drug we need to give them for that one. All right.